What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Film Cops TV. And this weekend, we're going to be highlighting the new Tampa police chief. She's got a lot of things going on. That's Ebor City Rob. He's one of the original Florida cop watchers slash auditors. And he's always down to take that ride. And he never gives ID. And if you never give ID, you can make the channel too. I'll see you in the comment section. You're going to have something to say about these cops. America, listen up, because this is coming to Florida. They're trying to vote that you cannot film cops within 30 feet. That would make it actually illegal to film your own traffic stop. This could be coming to a city near you. Pay attention to this video. Always know your rights. And Ebor City Rob quotes some ID laws in here. That it's a must that you know if you live in Florida. I'll see you in that comment section. Something man, before you try to violate my rights, man. You're on YouTube. Kind of let the light know you're filming the uh, parking lot back here. This chapter 119 allows me, my First Amendment right allows me, I'm an independent journalist on a public sidewalk doing a story on the building. What's your name and badge number? My name's Officer Krieger, sir. Well, I'm an investigative reporter. I can't tell you the story. I'm on a public sidewalk. If you if you don't know the law, you need to get a sergeant or your watch commander. I'm just asking you what you're doing out here, that's all. I haven't committed a crime. I'm not answering any questions. I need my lawyer present. Oh, okay, sir. His name is Nick Chodos from Handling Law. That's it. You don't have a news crew that you're working for? Doesn't matter. You ever heard of a private eye? Yeah, I've heard of a private eye. Well, then. Licensed. So you need a license? What law is that? Private eye, usually, yeah. What law is that? I don't know the exact law. Now, what law? Hey, what's your name and badge number since you're approaching me? My name and badge number? Oh, uh, yes. My name Ryan, my badge number is 149. Thank you. Listen, if you don't want an internal affairs investigation done, okay. I think you need to back off, kick rocks, and, sir, you can do whatever you want. and you can ask questions all you want. You don't want to give your name at all by any chance or ID? No, I don't have to. I haven't committed a crime. You got any drugs or weapons on you? Why would I have drugs or weapons on me? Sir? I don't, oh, you don't have a weapon? Illegal weapon? Yeah. yeah I mean, I think I smell marijuana coming out of that car, young man. I'm ready to violate your rights. You see where I'm going with this? Sure. You understand where I'm going with this? Yes, sir. So I don't know That's fine. Well, you're two armed men that approach me on the sidewalk. You're, you're filming a restricted area. Though. No, and, uh, but I'm not in that restricted area. But you're filming it. So it doesn't matter. It's not illegal. That's it. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to have them email a complaint if you don't back off. No, I'm not leaving. I'm on a public sidewalk. I'm on an area where I'm legally allowed to be as well, sir. I'm on a public, I'm on a public sidewalk. Oh yeah, that's fine. We can stay here all day. I have the freedom to stand on a public sidewalk. We're gonna, thank you, make that a public record. I'm gonna FOIA request it. What's your name and badge number since you're using your phone? 639, badge number 639, Pistol Master. Let's see if he, uh, let's see if he identifies. What's your name and badge number? It's your policy, Mark Seckley. All right. How do you say your last name? That's fine. Is that what you tell the judge? Any judge. Is that what you would tell the judge if you're in a courtroom? Listen, I need you to just back off, okay? I got your badge number. Now I'm going to fully request that phone because you used it for public record. I'm going to stay on the sidewalk. I'm going to continue for a few hours doing my, my story, doing my documentary. You're ruining my shot. I don't appreciate it. You're trying to violate my First Amendment right. Well, you're concerning when you're filming for all the police vehicles. Oh, why is that? Is it is it a gun or is it a gun or a, a cell phone? It's the way that society is going right now, filming things like you're trying to scope it out. Oh, so like, so basically, what you're saying is this day and age theoriology. A lot of people are trying to ambush cops. Oh, they try to ambush them when you're, when you're filming an area that's restricted. With a cell phone? With a cell phone? Oh, they ambush them. I think if you go in, listen, if you go inside and get your sergeant. And say, hey, my officer over here made a public record with his phone. He took a picture of him. Okay. Identify me. Run my name. But you're not getting it from me. I haven't committed a crime. I didn't say you have committed a crime. Just saying you're acting a little weird. Oh, weird? I'm a journalist. All right. Well, even journalists don't usually go around. You don't know who I am. Well, I'd like to know who you are, but you're not telling me. It doesn't matter. He just made a public record. You can facially uh, recognize that. It's simple. You think this is the first time? You think this is the first time I've been approached as a journalist outside of a police station like this? I highly 
done it, but obviously something's going on. You're doing something strange. Wait, no, 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 no. All right, I'm not going to talk. Now you, now you act like I'm being investigated for a crime or something like that. There's probably about 300 officers in and out of Tampa police within the past two years that do know who I am. Oh, I'm sure. You have to prove that I'm trying to conceal my identity for a crime that you suspect me of. Please, stop quoting false laws. All right, sir. All right, thank you. All this stuff that you're telling me, if you go in, if you go in there and try to look up the four statutes, it's not going to be there, okay? I'm on a public sidewalk. Ask me what you're doing in my here. Oh, nobody's nervous. Nobody's nervous. I do this all the time. Relax around us. We're here to help you. Alright, guys. So I'm going to flip this around. You're an idiot. Yeah, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Kick rocks. Kick rocks, asshole. Get out of here. Nobody wants you around. These guys, these guys don't know who I am. Cause that's why I'm over here. Because they switched District 3 cops and sergeants over here. 28 officers, guys, came from District 3 over here. So now, you guys, a couple of you requested me to do North Tampa. So I'm out here in North Tampa conducting First Amendment constitutionally protected activity. I got two out over here trying to violate my rights. These guys do not know about the First Amendment of the Constitution. What do you think about that, guys? Leave a comment below about these jerks that made a public record. Ride of shame. Get to work. My tax dollars don't pay for this, guys. I'm on the public sidewalk. You guys need to get back to work, okay? You're lucky you didn't violate my rights. Mark Seckley would have had something to say about that, guys. Get out of here, I'm not paying you for this. My tax dollars are way too important for this. You guys mess with the wrong guy. Keep watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We got more coming, because we had to come back to Tampa. I'll see you in that comment section, I'll catch you on the next video. Always remember to know your rights, and don't forget to film the cops. See you next time.